Shaw here. It's the uh, 19th and I'm going to show you uh, this is the area that uh, when my wife and I first got married uh, where we lived. I'm going to show you the little house we lived in and I mean little but uh, we park up the road a little bit because we can get off the road. They give tickets here like that if you can see that jeepney way down there they uh, the cops come through here every now and again. Hi. And they give uh, tickets. Uh, so not good or they'll put a boot on it or you know it's just tow them uh, so I like to get way off the road this is our, our friend over here this lolly store hello. hello happy belated birthday thank you okay hey guys and this was the little walk we took there was a fella down here on the right named Joseph who's a really good like champion chess player and I was playing him the one day and just defense. I'm not the best in the world. And uh, he looked at the board and he must have seen something I sure as heck did because he knocked his queen over and that was the end of it. But I haven't seen him. He had, was in a real bad accident. I don't know if he passed away or not. This little house on the tricycle. My, my buddy Boo Boy was there. He passed away. But uh, we're walking up the hill. This little uh, light colored blue house here, this, they're starting to lock it in, was the little old lady that uh, my wife rented off of. And we called this the blue house, but they're, they're painting it white now. But this little, this little house right here, uh, that's where we lived. And if you come back here, right where that metal starts, that was the end of it. That was the end of it, two stories. Little changing area upstairs in a small bedroom. Hello. And this was the uh, that one little family was actually living in this it was an old store, but they were actually living in there. We're coming up to my buddy Ronald's. There was a little lady who lived here, had a stroke, and there's Ronald's place. So uh, we had our uh, before we went to the wedding. This was where we was at. So I'll let, I'll let that go and we'll see if we can get the house on the way home. We'll see if I can get the house where, where we lived for many years. So you guys take care. Rick Shaw out for now. Hey guys, 20th here. Rick Shaw with you. Uh, yesterday I did the one where we, the first place we lived, but this was, I'm going to show you uh, the second place we lived and that we we bought it. This is new. This used to, this is a laundromat right here. It used to be a little restaurant. This was a place we could get breakfast at. They never did fix this right. But uh, this is our old street right here. Taking a little hike. A lot of the people we knew that were here are gone. They're, you know, I don't mean gone. I mean gone left. I mean they're gone. They passed away. The young man here that he passed away. Uh, the son and the. Mama passed away here. Hi guys. This is our, hi sweetie. Hi, there we go, that's our neighbors there. This was our old house. We put this uh, gate in. And uh, that's, I, I did all this concrete here uh, so we could park the Piaggio and the, and the uh, tricycle. You see you can't really get a car in here. They got a doggy. It's our old gate we put in. Hello, how are you doing? And uh, just the neighborhood. This is our little area. It's our dirty kitchen. That we put this in too, but it's all rusted out at the bottom. Our little dirty kitchen. There's our house. A little street down there. A lot of nice folks here. Used to be a real cool grandpa dude here. He passed away, and his wife she got Alzheimer's, so they moved her. Hey, how you doing? Hello. I'm doing good. So here's our old. Uh, our basketball court. Oh, look at this. They're building something back here. They're always building something around. And then we got a chicken chicken farm down here. Got to watch out for all the dog poop, though, even on the basketball court. That's how they do their roofs. Somebody's making a little house there. Hello. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're working away. It's our old buddy up there working. Cool. So this is this is where we first uh, 
you know, where we first lived. Kids used to play in here all the time. I'd have to come in there and clean up the dog poop. Uh, we had a trice little tiny pedal tricycle for the kids, and they'd ra race that thing around. They kept playing ball. Sucks in the evenings, though. Some of the big kids come in, and they kind of take it over. Uh, they, they just built this little addition to this house, and they, like, added on. And they got some nice flowers here, and they put that second floor on while we were still here. This is the neighborhood. This is the neighborhood we lived in. And there's a little, they made a little store. This was, this wasn't here when we first moved in, and they, they built a little store there. And then down the way. Hello. Hi, baby. How are you doing? Hi, Grandma. Hello. How are you? Hi. That's good. Hi, sweetheart. Yep, Santa Claus. Ah. Ah. Say, where's the present? Your baby got big. Apple. Oh man. <laughs> Hello. You. <laughs> You're getting big. Everybody's getting big. Hey guys, go say hi. You don't remember all these guys, do you? Huh? You were too little. <laughs> Mr. Shy Guy here. Okay, I'm gonna walk this way. Bye guys. Bye. Skinny cats, but that was our little old house there wasn't too bad inside. I, I deliberately didn't fix it up because I did not want to uh, stay there. My wife was wanting to stay here, not me. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. You got a loudmouth dog. That's Faye's buddy here, uh, renting our old place. Got her some nice flowers, some oregano there. Your dog, your dog is noisy. Momo, don't you remember? Come on! So, but there was a little lady lived here. I don't know if she's still around. Another one who had a stroke. Seems to, you know, be kind of prevalent around here. A lot of people get the, get strokes and stuff. And there was a Barker used to live where that, straight across the street where that little store was. The Barker lived there, but they opened it up and made a store now. It's our circle. They put that Andox in since we were here. It's uh, changed a little bit, not too much. Uh, this this little rice store right over here, this used to be the motorcycle shop with June Bello. That's the gas man there, where we always got our gas at. And um, I worked in the motorcycle shop with him, uh, but he passed away. But uh, always busy around this corner. You come in here at nighttime, uh, anywhere from five till seven. Uh, just figure on you're gonna be waiting in traffic quite a long time. So, but this is it. This, this is our, our place. It looks like that place down there they added. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll let you go. And if I got some more, I'll tack it on the end. So rickshaw out for now. Just waiting for my, uh, my little sweetheart to, to pick the kids. Dorothy was visiting with her old chums so you know she misses to seeing these lots of guys uh, this place here just looking right out there i used to all three of my babies who were born in this area i used to stand out here in the morning catch that morning sun to uh, you know get the baby some sun you know up until about 10 o'clock uh, we used to uh, i had a really nice stroller uh, heavy duty wheels on it big wheels and if you laid the thing down, I could get all three kids in there. And I used to t walk them from here all the way down the big hill, all the way down to Walter Mart. Uh, it had a big place in the bottom. I could get whatever we needed. Uh, there's this place right here. You can walk within, you know, within a thousand feet of anywhere. You can get just about anything you want. But I always used to go down to Walter Mart to get the meats and stuff like that. Uh, this place at nighttime, uh, it just, it comes alive with, you got vendors all over. It's kind of like, uh, uh, Tropical Tim. The vendors pop out everywhere here. Here's a little vendor right here. Uh, it's not open yet, but it'll be open. It'll probably be open later tonight. I am seeing a lot of these laundry mats. They're popping up. They're popping up all over the place now. Uh, people aren't wanting to scrub their clothes down by the river on a rock anymore. And I don't blame them. I sure as hell don't. But, uh, you see a lot of folks that do it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it if you're an expat coming here because any elastic uh, that you had, that's the operative word, had, a couple washings, it's gone. 
Uh, a lot of my shirts were just completely stretched out and ruined. I'd have a shirt that fit me good, and then after a couple of them hand washings from being wrung out and hung out, uh, it, it just it, it just ruins them. It stretches them all out. And then also if they, uh, like when, when my wife's mom uh, washes the clothes, she'll just hang stuff on a hanger, and then you got these points from the hanger sticking out from the weight of it. I'm not into that at all. I like I like the automatic machine, but but uh, this was this was our old hood right here. I mean, uh, I don't know what you can see uh, just inside the car. I'm sitting in the air right now and uh, just waiting. Uh, a lot of a lot of nice people live in that place. You know, they're not they're not the wealthiest. It's tricycle drivers and and uh, jeepney drivers and such like that. It used to be the jeepney used to pull in that little road go into my house and parked right across the street before he had a stroke but uh, there's the little ones coming there they are and there's their buddies and the neighbor kids are all getting so big now it's amazing uh, when we left last time the one girl uh, her little baby was just born right after we moved and now he's a big uh, strapping boy already it's just amazing how things go just remember when it comes to your kids that uh, you know we're just a vapor and uh, you know before you know it they're not kids anymore they grow real quick and there's my little Mo hi Mo and a real good little neighbor Sarah that, that little girl there say hi her, her dad died at uh, 49 heart attack uh, just poof just like that he was a jeepney guy too and uh, like I said in the video before, you will lose a lot of a lot of friends here. It just it seems life is so cheap. Um, minor things that would be taken care of in the U.S. they don't got the money for, and uh, you know it's just it it happens quick. A lot of these people, a lot of these girls who uh, you know have babies. When I was in the states, I never in my entire life uh, it may have happened, but I never knew anyone or even heard of a woman dying during childbirth. I just you just didn't hear of it. Here happens all the time. Uh, we we actually Faye had a really good friend. Uh, she was going to have a baby. Went to the dying in clinic, and then we were going to the funeral. Her and the baby in the same box. They do funerals here a little bit different. A lot of them are in like a they make like a mausoleum type thing. They build it up. They call them apartments, and they put them in there. Me, they're gonna have to bust my legs if they stick me in one of them. But but uh, they also do the. Uh, in the box, they put a thing of glass over the like it's like plexiglass or something over top of the box, so they're sealed in. I guess so it don't get stinky or something. Uh, we were we were at a lot of funerals where everything was fine, even though it's hot. Uh, but we were at the one where uh, the funeral home that was taking care of the guy wasn't on the ball, and he this guy was just rotten before our eyes over a couple of days. Uh, you know, he turned all brown and everything, and it's like, you know, they, they didn't do they didn't do their job. Uh, it was it was uh, something, but it gets pretty hot here, and they, and all the funerals too. I want to tell you about that. They they'll pretty much hold them in somebody's house or around the corner or something like that. Uh, our friend uh, they couldn't couldn't really get a box in her little tunnel that they lived in, so they had it out on the on the street. Uh, it was under an awning and that's that's where their thing was and there's somebody there 24 hours a day when somebody passes away um, the other thing in this in this country the the oldies uh, some people said oh you know your kids won't ever watch you and you'll get stuck at home that don't happen here I've never heard of that uh, uh, I, th I mentioned it in the comments to the guy but it's like the Waltons here uh, you know they they take care of their oldies uh, you know the, the guy raises his family and uh, his, usually his oldest boy will get the house and they, they live there and the, and they do take care of their oldies here uh, somebody somebody does in the family it's just the way it goes here I haven't heard anything otherwise uh, I've never even heard of an old folks home here I'm sure they probably have them but I haven't heard any and uh, they just take good care of their people uh, and that, that is that's important I hope that's what happens to us uh, and, and I'm sure it will. You know, we're, we're raising these kids Filipino style. Uh, I don't want to raise them American style. I just don't. Uh, I have no plans on, on doing that at all. But uh, I think it's going to go go pretty good uh, with all of our babies. They're, they're very respectful. They were in there blessing some of the older folks in there. Uh, and we, we promote that. And we want them to. It's, they're, they're little Filipinos. They have to act like it. And uh, very respectful. And it's just uh, 
It, it, it is. You look around and you don't think it's all that great, but you know something? It's greater than you would ever know. Uh, and some of these people, they live in these little tiny places and, you know, don't look like much, but the people are generally happy, well-adjusted. Uh, they're, they're happy in their work. You know, you see them smiling all the time and uh, they, they do well. It's just uh, it's an amazing thing that you, you run into with them. Uh, so, but I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Uh, I'll probably separate this one from the other videos so it doesn't get too long. So you all take care. Don't forget to pray for each other. And this is Rick Shaw out.